I am a grown woman with grown woman bill. Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my automobile? Can you deal me with chill? I don't. I'm so annoyed. Let's get the foundation on. <laughs> good morning, Tin. Good morning, Tin. Good morning, Tin. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are doing... I don't know what we're doing, actually. <laughs> I'm going to be trying different products out, I believe. Not a full face of testing new products, but a few. I just did my nails, and you know what happens when I do my nails. I'm going to nail y'all to death or to life. Come on, let's talk about it. Make sure you are subscribed. Join my text community because it's free, and you want to be there, okay? Also, comment and let me know if at all any point of this video you feel excited blessed thrilled angry you shouldn't be angry my page is a page of just fantasticness i like to make up my own words i love my hair i have two-day curls in here i love my nails i'm gonna take a stop for a second and put on maybe a necklace <laughs> dress myself up a little bit with a little bit of decoration and come back to you but we are jumping into this video in a very casual manner i'm feeling myself and when i feel myself i always let you know Okay. All right. Before I do that, I do want to tell you that I, my skin is feeling dry because I'm healing from a rosacea breakout and I used this super goop glow screen sunscreen SPF 50. Love it because my skin is dry. It looks like a deodorant, <laughs> like a roll on gel type thing. I put it around my cheeks. So that's why you see all the shine. What's perfect is that it is an SPF. So because I wanted to put on something on top of what I already did, which, which was my skincare, it had to be an SPF. I didn't want to put on something that would cancel out the SPF because, okay, I am bet I'm confusing you right now. SPF should be the last step in your skincare routine, right? Which was mine today. So I wanted to add more hydration, but I didn't want to add something that could potentially cancel out the SPF on my face. That's why I reached for this glow stick because it's both hydrating and an SPF. Okay, that's that's the best to break down on that, okay? So love that because it definitely is giving me a do and I no longer feel dry around my mouth, okay? Let me come right back with jewelry on. All right, all right, kept it real basic. Wow watching jewelry, we'll link it all below. Hi, all right, so we're sticking with hydration. If you watched my other video, if not, make sure you watch it. I tried the Zoeva foundation, which is very dewy. I did enjoy it. It's great because my skin is dry right now as it is healing from a rosacea breakout, but it's also great for the winter time. I enjoyed it. It's not like it came off at all during the day yesterday. I am going to be putting it in the rotation. Okay, this is the shade 430N Warrior, okay? And the Zoeva foundation, comment on me know if you've tried this before. I went to my stash because I'm going to be doing a green eye today and I pulled out this number 10 Fenty Snap Shadow Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. I know this is old but I dug it out to use the green. I'm going for this one. Am I going for this one? Is this too green for me right now? I think this is more green than I would like. I don't know. Obviously if you're here you've seen the thumbnail. Okay we're gonna figure that out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was my primer, if you will. I just hydrated my face. Let me put some of this in the back of my hand because that is what I like to do. Two pumps. I don't recall how many pumps I did the other day. Let's get this hair out of the face. I know that we want to be cute and let's be honest, this is always cute. Easy on saying hair back or front. It really don't matter. These curls are falling down, but I am really into it. This is a four by four wig. I want to try a 13 by four out or 13 by six. You know how you got to I don't know, they do the whole glueless situations and stuff, but I'm nervous, I'm nervous. We gonna see, baby. I'm not doing baby hairs. I don't like that, okay? I am a grown woman with grown woman bill. Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my telephone bill? Can you pay my automobile? Can you deal me with chill? I don't. I'm so annoyed. Let's get the foundation on. <laughs> this is looking real dark, okay? We talked about this in the other video. It does work out in the end, and I do like the way it looks. I, the, here, the, this is the leftover from the two pumps. I did not even need two full pumps. It's medium coverage. I can still see some of my skin underneath it, but that's okay because of the way that I do my face. I use the powder foundation on top of all of it, and it brings everything together while also adding some coverage. So it all ends up working out. My face is looking glowy. <laughs> And I really am into it these days. I like to choose my foundation and concealer based on how my skin is feeling. It's like skincare, right? If your skin is feeling dry, focus on the hydration. If your skin is feeling oily, 
try to minimize all of that unless you like to look dewy. Being oily isn't a bad thing. You will li likely have less wrinkles or you'll wrinkle a lot slower, okay? But when it comes to the foundation, being dewy like this is great if your skin is feeling dry or if you just want that natural luminous type of look. And right now, I'm just in a season where I like that, okay? So this is what it is right now. I did also try this out in another video, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This one looked really, really good too. I don't know if it was because of the foundation or what, but it looked really, really good and I liked it. So here we are going with this again, baby. This is the color 50. I like to apply it in the inner part of my eye, not bringing it too far. Oh, I just applied more. I didn't mean to apply more. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna bring some of this to the other parts of my face. I applied more, I didn't mean to. I wanted it to spread. Here are the makeup sponges that I use. It's a five pack, comes in different colors. I'll link them below. These are so good. Make sure you soak, like soak your sponge through and through. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to ensure wiping. I'm getting some off by putting it on a tissue. Squeeze, squeeze, now I'm blending. Squeeze it into a tissue or a towel to get the excess water off. You wanna make sure you do it to the point where there isn't any water that comes out when you squeeze it, okay? Now I'm blending this on the outer part of my face because I want the inner part to dry a little bit. That will give me more coverage on the inside. Taking my time to blend this. We're not in a rush, okay? And I'm doing it in a haphazard manner so that way there are no harsh lines, okay? Doing this to take off the product because I don't wanna add any more to the front of my face. I already have a lot here, pinching it a little bit. These nails are making it a little bit challenging, but that's okay. We're gonna get in here. And then going down the side of my nose. I'm going fast because I just do this in a fast manner. But if you're new, take your time to really get it in a straight line, just down the side of your nose. If you are trying to do the reverse highlight method, this concealer does look hydrating. This is so so good. Then turning this to the butt of the sponge to blend out. What is it? Harsh lines, okay? Same on this side. I start in the middle and I make my way. As I'm doing it, I am bringing it onto the side of my nose, closing my eye. Obviously, I don't wanna have concealer in my contacts. <laughs> Okay, and then bringing it down a little bit on the side of the nose and keeping it up here. We don't need the concealer all over our entire face. Although when I worked at MAC, I remember I had a client come in and she wanted concealer because she used it on her whole face. I imagine that she did that because she likes the full coverage nature of using concealer on the entire face. I was so perplexed. I was like, this is new. I haven't, this is when I was a freelancer. I was like, I haven't heard of this before. She wanted full coverage. She was using, I I think it was pro long wear all over her face. I was like, oh, okay, you doing something. Now here we go. I like to highlight the middle of the forehead. I feel like everyone does this right now. If you don't, you should give it a shot unless you do more natural makeup. Let me know if you do this. Do you highlight down the T-zone like this? I wanna know. Same sponge and if you feel like I mean, I'm gonna leave it. I sometimes squeeze off the excess product, but it's fine. I'll leave it, focusing here on the forehead. I'm using the pointy part of the sponge in order to do that, blending it out little by little and making sure there are no harsh lines by going around it. And then I turn to make sure I don't see a line, okay? I want that to dry, so let me go here. And then I wanna use the excess to go under my chin, moving the hair away to get this right underneath, excuse me, under my cheek. <laughs> and then getting this side as well, taking some product from there. When I put it on my chin, I'm essentially wiping off extra product because I don't want a lot of product under my cheek. I want it to be highlighted, but I don't want it to look too pronounced, okay? Now, let's go back here and dry this. You can't do this with every concealer because some concealers dry extremely fast. Watch my video on concealers here on YouTube to see which of those concealers I'm referring to. I obviously don't cover every concealer in the nation, but it gives you an idea of some that dry wicked fast. And remember when you're applying your contour, your bronzer, you wanna get into your hairline. The brush I'm using is Sephora 56. I like to start under my cheek as you saw, and then go little by little getting it into the hairline. That's gonna be part of what you wash off when you wash your face at night. Make sure you wash your hairline. If you got acne around your hairlines because your hair products and or you're not washing your makeup off, okay? And I'm just stippling this in a small fashion and just small sections to make sure that the pigmentation 
is the same all throughout. I like using 12 feet tees because it shows up on my skin. Just use something that's darker than your skin tone in order for it to show. You can go deep, you can go not so deep, depending on how you want your bronzer or your contour to look, okay? I just turned up the lights because it was looking a little too dark for me, okay? So here we go. And then we are gonna even it all out. My contour doesn't show as much right now as it normally does because my foundation is darker than I normally use, but that's okay. And remember, I always tell you that that's what happens. If you happen to use a foundation that is darker than what you typically use, almost all of your other products are gonna just look so different on you because it's on a darker base than normal. I remember when somebody first used that word base back at MAC again at the counter. I was like, what? I mean, I was still new to makeup and I was like, what is a base? You talking about foundation? You could have just said that. You know what I'm saying? You come in here trying to get me off my game. Talking about base. I was like, mm -mm. I don't know what that means. You talking about foundation. Okay, good. I got it. You could have said that. This is the one size translucent powder. Never tried this before. This is my first time. I do like it because it is light. I can still see my skin beneath all of this. I cannot wait to put on my powder foundation because the skin showing is a problem for me but it does look good. So there you have it with this translucent powder. Comment and let me know if you've tried this from one size. Oh my goodness, I got ahead of myself because my skin was looking so good that I forgot to put on my powder. Oh my God, this is Set the Tone Finishing Powder, the lip bar. This is Bronze Beauty, my goodness. I already started putting on my highlighter. I am so annoyed. I normally am reminded to put this on because of the way my skin looks, but today it's looking good because my highlight isn't too light because the foundation is darker than usual. Do you see that? It just looks different to me. Okay, I did that a little bit and now going with my liquid highlighter. My goodness. All right, put on some blush and now I'm gonna do my brows. I have been enjoying this Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. Look, yo, I never used to use brow gels because I cut off the tail end of my brows and I just didn't think I needed it or it would do anything for me. But this is really good. It works. It keeps the brows frozen. By the time I finish filling in my brows with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat and then I wanna go take my spoolie to brush everything together, these brows don't move. The, the hair that I have here, it don't be moving. And I'd be like, oh, okay. So y'all are frozen, frozen. Y'all froze, froze, you see? And I'm okay with that. This is really good. I love it. If you try this, I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. Oh, and I'm gonna link the nails too for you in case you're like, what nails are those? I'm gonna link it for you. Okay, girl, just hold on tight. All right, brows are done. We do want to use use, okay? This is NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Amand. I like to start right in the middle of my brows and then I'm going to underline it going in short strokes. I know that I'm going fast it's because I know my face and I've done my face a million times, but certainly take your time doing this step if you're not that comfortable. Now this concealer is looking real light underneath my brow, lighter than it normally does. And why is that? because my foundation is darker than normal. But we gonna bring it all together when I blend my transition area, which is the area between the brow bone highlight, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm highlighting the brow bone. This is my brow bone when I press between the brow bone highlight and my, and my crease. It's gonna all blend together when I blend that color in. Let me just even out these brows a little bit, wiping off the product, taking a brush to blend all of this. You want a dense brush, something short is easier to maneuver. Dense meaning it's more packed in with product, wiping this off so that there's no product on it per se. I just wanna blend out this product, which is the concealer. I'm not trying to add anything right now. I'm blending this first, wiping off excess product because I'm not trying to add anything anywhere. I just wanna blend this out. I don't want there to be, what is it? Any harsh lines, okay? I don't get too close to where the 
bottom part of my brow is because I could potentially wipe off the product and that's not what I want. We're gonna fix all of this, okay? It's looking real stark. This is looking real light, <laughs> lighter than usual, but it's gonna be all right, you know what I'm saying? She gonna be all right, you know? Wiping off product because I wanna get rid of this harsh line. I'm gonna go this way here and then press it. Take your time with this if you're not that skilled at blending this, or just like not that skilled at your makeup if you're still learning, okay? There's that. Now, I'm gonna do my crease and it's gonna, it's gonna bring everything together, okay? Now, although I'm gonna use green, we do need transition colors. If you've been here for a while, you know that I love this Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. This is a Topaz one. This is a great palette to do any combination natural looking ish eye okay i've done several makeup looks with this palette on igtv and i'm going to use it to transition my eye to colors today now let me not forget that i need to put a an eyeshadow base on. I grew up in the era of eyeshadow bases. That is just, okay, no, I can't use my finger. I forgot. I just did my nails. I cannot use my finger. My nails are too long. I can't get up in the corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna take this brush. I grew up in the era of eyeshadow bases. Come in and let me know if you use a proper eyeshadow base or using concealer. I did not, look at me, I grew up in the era. I do not do concealer as an eyeshadow base. I've never done it. I can't imagine myself doing it because it just feels unusual. I'm used to an actual eyeshadow base. Either is fine. I've seen people do some really beautiful looks with using concealer. Uh, it's just not for me. So I like to use an actual eyeshadow base. This is soft ochre. I used to use painterly paint pot. Nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to try something different. Soft ochre is real nostalgic as well. We used to use it at the counter. Really good. It's a light beige type, yellow based neutral color which is good now i don't set it with anything i leave it like that so that it can really grip to the actual product now keep my eyes stretched out so that there is no creasing because this this product will crease oh i need to set my brows too oh my god what's going on now <laughs> taking this one size translucent powder to set my my forehead is hurting so badly okay i forgot to do this so i'm just a little bit all over the place today what's going on hi set the brow bone because why not all righty go easy so you don't take off the brow product we are looking very light under the brows we gonna fix this because it does not be looking like this on a regular basis see i messed up my brow dang today is a little bit messy <laughs> fyi even sometimes my makeup be looking to me at least i know you're gonna be like what man please i wish my my messy could look like that i know i know you're gonna say it that's what you're saying right now comment and tell me because i already know i already know how you is girl i already know how you is okay now for the transition i'm taking the huda boozy huda boozy huda boozy whatever this right here okay and we're gonna transition let me take this color at the top right right up here okay it's a reddish brown Ooh, this is more on the orange side you see what i'm saying <laughs> it's giving more orange Orange. We gonna deepen that. Bless God, I haven't used this in a long time. This is proper orange. Hold on. I haven't used her in a minute. <laughs> so she's doing some things that I'm not used to. What in the world? We gonna fix this, okay? <laughs> you know I know how to bring a look together, right? Comment and tell me if you feel like I'm going to bring this look together. Bless his holy name. We are giving orange creamsicle right now in such an atrocious fashion. Not okay with this. This, not okay with it at all. Okay, wow. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, taking this color at the bottom. I know I used to use this too. That's the one I've used in here the most. This is warmer, but still bright. Uh, I used to go in with this palette. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Okay, going with the brown that is here at the bottom left. Let's deepen this a little bit. Oh, now I can exhale. Do you see that? Let's lower down the lights because this is not looking flattering at all. Do you see how much better this is looking since I added a brown? Same brush because I do really want all of this to blend in. Do you see? 
We fixed it. God almighty. It's been a while, so I forgot that when I get to the brown, it's going to all come together because <laughs> it was not doing what I needed in the beginning. The brow bone is still looking real, real, real crazy. We're going to get to that in a second, okay? Now, normally I take this product and I, I just did it. I just did it. I just did it. I couldn't help it. I just go over everything lightly in a, in a kind of a way like that, <laughs> like in a very haphazard, but calculated manner, just like go over it. But really and truly what I want to use is the powder brush that I use to set my contour to stipple over this area so that it matches the hairline. No extra product, just going over this area. But I can't lie, that's looking real, real light because I'm wearing a darker foundation. Okay, so here's the lip bar face powder that I used earlier. I'm gonna take this because it's a, you know, base type color and go over this. Now this is better, much better. Alrighty, I took a different brush and just going over that. <sighs> now I can exhale, that looks a lot better. It's still highlighted. I still like for the top of my brow, I still like for my brow highlight to look pronounced hello that's just what i like to do you know you should do what you like to do that's just what i like to do boom so this is looking real good or whatever i do want the brown to be more so i'm taking another brush so that it doesn't necessarily have all that reddish brown brown orange stuff on it i want this brown to be deeper so going over this again with the brown always tapping off the excess baby always gotta do that okay and then we're putting it here i'm using an assortment of brushes. If you want to buy all these brushes individually, like how I got it here, girl, you gonna go crazy. If you want to buy one bundle of brushes, in fact, I should do a few more videos like that, trying out different bundles to give you more options. But you can look at my Amazon brush video, just type in Midnight to be on Amazon or look at my list of videos. You'll see it. I used a whole brush set from Amazon on my eyes, on my whole face actually, in addition to a beauty sponge and it came out bomb. Okay, I'm gonna transition the brows just a little bit more with that brush that has the products on it, taking that reddish brown color and lightly, very lightly going over here because I want there to be a gradient. Okay, that's a little bit better. This brow bone just looks different in general to this one, so it always throws me off, but it's, it is what it is, that looks good. Alrighty, so there's that. I thought we were doing green. How do we end up here? Well, this is how I do my face. No matter what I do, I need that gradient sunset type look in the crease because it looks beautiful. Normally, these are the colors that I use, but depending, I might do a purple, which now that I speak about it out loud, I should have done because I'm using green. Purple would go with green so well. Hold on, I can still do that. I can actually still do that. So, all right, I actually found this one in my stash, Too Faced, that's my jam. I'm gonna use this color right down here. I wanted something deeper because because this is a deeper type of look, okay? So let's take this into the crease. You may not even see it. You may not even see it. <laughs> it's gonna look a little bit brown. Now we are layering a lot of colors, right? You could have really jumped to this step at some point and not done all of this, but this is how I build my looks up depending on how I'm feeling. But I love to mix purples with a blue smoky eye or a green smoky eye. It just complements the colors so, so well. All right, so here we go with this in the crease. Not making it too dark, but I do want it to show. All right, here we go. It's changing up this look quite a bit. <laughs> you can't even see that orange sunset situation really anymore, you know? Wiping this off so that I can now blend. You could also just take another brush, but as a former makeup artist taking clients, I just am accustomed to making a few brushes work okay now I like for the inner part of my brow to be really dark because it just looks so good that way so the area between the eyeshadow and the inner part of the brow love that to still be really dark do I do not like when there's a gap between my eyeshadow and my eyebrow like it's a no for me oh my god so with a color like this from the palette which is a little bit shimmery it is shimmery I would typically use my finger 
whatever. Because I have these long claws, I can't use my fingers. So I don't know how this is going to look. And honestly, I don't want this to be a cut crease. Just not today. I haven't been into cut creases very often. Like I can do, I can do another cut crease video, but it's just not what I've been into. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking this fluffy brush from, I don't even know, oh, Coastal Scents. <laughs> I've had this for a long time. Taking some of the product, always, always tapping off the excess. Let's see how this comes out because this is the kind of color that really should be applied with a finger. Okay, so I'm seeing some dryness on my face, but we are gonna deal with that in a second. It is coming out well, okay? But see how it's coming out in such a small fashion? We talked about this in my eyeshadow tutorial video. You really want to open up the eyelid by bringing this eyeshadow all the way up into your crease. Now, it is mixing. Do you see that? The green is mixing with the purple, and I actually like that because it is looking more smoky and just gorgeous. Yo, this look is good for the holiday too though. Hold on. We could really turn this up with the gold in this palette. We are going to do that. That is what, ooh, head down. You don't want this frost all over your face. That is what we are going to do. I'm making sure that I have this inside my crease. Windshield wiper motions, baby. I'm being real dramatic with this, uh, with this narration, honey. Okay, windshield wiper motions. And honest to God, I don't even need to blend that crease, but I am going to. I know myself, I'm going to, okay? Taking some more, I'm patting it in, tapping off the excess, and let's get this side. This eye is so vibrant. I hope that you're seeing this. This eye is so vibrant. Oh, I wish I could use my finger, but it still looks good. And I did not spray my brush. I did not spray my brush. It just looks that good. Now, like I said, just because it's me, I'm gonna go in with the, where's the purple? Okay, that's my jam. Purple again, just to get it perfect. I just want it to be perfect, okay? Taking a different brush because I really wanna get in a certain spot, just right between the green and the purple. I don't want this to go everywhere and I'm doing it very lightly so not to create what? Any harsh lines. So right in there, you may or may not even see a difference. It's just blending out the crease. Like you gotta see a difference. Do you not see a smoothness here versus here? Come on now, comment and let me know. I know you see it. Okay, same thing on this side, very lightly because with frost you don't want to blend it too much because then it'll spread and that's not what i want i don't want this to be in my crease too much bringing it toward the inner part of the face though for sure just for more definition Ooh, baby now i do see some more frost i'm getting this real perfect girl i do see some more frost on this side versus the other so lightly i'm not pressing into my face just lightly trying to get that even but what i'm gonna do instead is go back with the green and add it in here to make it match that side more so taking this always tapping off the excess and go Going right. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. That looks good. Now I'm going to bring the colors down underneath my eye because that is just what I like to do. Going with just black is boring. Bring this green and the purple underneath eyeliner, top eyeliner, which I'm going to stick with black to just keep it simple. And then we're going to do gold on the inside with the same palette from Fenty. I hope this is still around because I'm using it. I'm going to do this gold right here in the yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to look real good. Just watch. All right, I just put on some mascara. This feels and looks so good. I'm gonna do this lip. First of all, comment, let me know what you think about this look, ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna do this lip that I did yesterday. I did use a different liner. So today I'm gonna use the Lip Cheat Pillow Talk 3 Intense Liner from Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, this is great. Yesterday I used cork and cork from MAC does not show up dark enough on me anymore. I've gotten a lot darker since I've been in Houston. So crazy. All right, putting this on like so. And I'm bringing it in because I want to create an ombre. Oh, yes, baby. And then this is number 60 Poet Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Mm, 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 mm. Yes and yes, baby. It's giving ashy, but believe me, it's really pretty. And then we're going to put a gloss on top, a shimmery gloss. What did I use? I have this. Is it? I don't understand. Is it? It's Extra Glaze IBP? The name of the brand? I don't know. I haven't heard of that before. Wait, I need more coverage. It came off a little bit. That's what I can't see in my very light lip colors. 
Okay, here we go. All right, there's that. It's giving Dave Chappelle pink ash strangeness, but then put a gloss on top and ooh, baby. This is the color or shade extra glaze. Oh yes, honey. And then you blot. Mm, 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 mm. And she's looking pouty. Yes, hold on. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Okay, comment and let me know if you love this look. Would you wear it and wear to? I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. Make you cry. All right, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you are subscribed because if you haven't already, you better do it right now. If you like this look, subscribe right now. Point blank, period. End of story. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.